Broad Spectrum SPF 50 for a few days, a few weeks now, uh, ever since I ran out of my Alta MD UV Sport. And I was saying that they're comparable, and they are as far as ingredients and sun protection and that sort of thing, but this one pills up a lot, I've noticed. Yeah, so I reapply it over a base, you know, I, I put my base layer of Alta MD UV Clear on in the morning. And normally the UV spot would go on over that, no problem. But this one pills up a lot. Um, so I don't really like it that much for the face. I've been using it also as a hand cream though. And I really like it because it's fragrance free. And uh, it, it goes on my hands just fine. But it pills up a lot on my face, like really, really markedly. So I don't care for that. Plus it's such a tiny um, amount that comes in this little, little bottle. The 1.7 ounces. Um, I'm almost out of this and I've only been using it for a little over a week now. There she is. You're wearing your A New Day sweater with the cutout on the arm. That's so cute. It looks really good on you. I, where are those pants from? They look nice too. Are those a QVC find? No, I picked those up at Marshall. Oh, okay. That's cute. And you've got. What are your shoes? Those are sweet too. Target? Yeah. Nice. What'd you get this morning? Well, it's pretty much my usual. Uh -huh. But I varied it up with my falafel. Okay. But it's a garbanzo medley. Uh -huh. And then the quinoa. Uh -huh. And then the black rice, strawberry mango uh -huh. salad. And on the very bottom is raspberry. Oh, did you get potatoes? I know you were pregnant. No, I didn't get any oh, potatoes. Because I ate potatoes last night. You're potato strong. You love potatoes. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, I got, they have this, they call it the Whole Foods Diet Salad. It's kale and um, I think black rice and miso. And then I got some roasted Brussels sprouts and cauliflower. And then in the bottom is uh, spiralized beets and zucchini. And then I just dusted it with some of those sesame seeds that I like and some toasted coconut. So that looks magical. Yeah, last night while we were watching Downton Abbey, I ended up having another one of those um, papaya shizandra snacks from uh, the Moon Juice shop. I really like it. I'm gonna try and make something like that myself with papaya. I think just sprinkling the shizandra powder on papaya would be good or on um, melon. You know, like... Oh, it would be really good on melon yeah, and mango. Yeah, because you know that snack that's melon balls with prosciutto? Yeah. I think you could do that with the shizandra. You could dust it on the melon balls and it would taste similar. I like oh, that stuff. That. Yeah. I want to try the dull salmons next. My mom wants to start drinking beauty dust. <laughs> she was asking me about it. A lot of you guys consume brain dust and you like it. Does it help with with concentration? I've had it a few times, but I haven't consumed it like consistently the way I do with, with beauty dust. But there's something magical about it. It's definitely the taste of anything. The name beauty dust. I know. Really yeah. On the website, they have all of these fun recipes too. They have an ice cream that you can make. Just I mean, it's just like a like a nice a, an ice cream with frozen fruit and one of your dusts I'm choosing, but it looks really cute. They also have a cookbook that you can get, Cosmic Provisions. So I was um, filming over by the produce over here, in the produce section, and 
and the soft foods. Oh my gosh, did you guys see the price of the, the rice cauliflower that they have here? They have, you know, organic rice cauliflower. Oh One little bag is more expensive than the giant organic cauliflower rice that you can get at Costco. Costco is killing the organic produce game. I mean, it's, it's any wonder why, why people would shop at Whole Foods when you can just go there. Did they get any sunscreen? No, I haven't seen it. I went over there looking That's to see really if there was any sunscreen on the But their bread, their salad bar still remains a good deal, depending on your selection of things. If you get heavy weighted items, then it can be very expensive. But when we eat, we were just commenting, when we eat here, it's far less expensive than if we ate in a restaurant and then we get what we want. <laughs> but no, I'd never shop here. Sometimes you pick up little snacks and things, but. Yeah, I get tempted to come in here sometimes. Yeah, we, we were just saying we ordered Thanksgiving from, from Whole Foods. That ended up being a really good deal, except the dessert was a fail. It was Thanksgiving we ordered, or was it Christmas? Was it, don't you, no, it was, it was Thanksgiving. Yeah, yeah, Thanksgiving. We had the vegan Thanksgiving, the vegan holiday. Mm -hmm. It was like, I can't even remember. I remember when I picked it up, people were getting the turkey. Yeah, and their ham. Yeah, and uh, I remember this, was it this <coughs> stuffing that was really good? Yeah. The stuffing was really good. Yeah, I think most of the sides were really good. Thank you. When I die and they lay me to rest, I'm gonna go to the place that's the best. <laughs> the shop what is Ranchero, Ranchero King Buffet? That looks intense. <laughs> Yeah, well, they must have a good breakfast. Yeah. Spread. <laughs> I'm guessing they have migas in there. Migas! We got the uh, wild notion to come to Ikea because I've been eyeing my mom's uh, little electric battery operated, excuse me, battery operated whiskey doodle. Frother. What do you call that? Frother? Yeah. Frother. So, I want to get me one. I Plus, hope they still have them. Yeah, we're scoping out uh, potential furniture options. Now that I have the my apartment layout, you know, I know what my new apartment's gonna look like. Um, I'm gonna look here at Ikea to see if there aren't some things that, that may fit in there that I might like. Not to buy today, but to contemplate. <laughs> and I'm always in the mood to go to Ikea. So. Yeah, I've never been to this Ikea. I mean, I've been to Ikea's before, but. Alex desk, $129. I want I do want to get a desk. The Alex desk is nice because it has a big drawer. Yeah, I'll have to take a look at that. Yeah, that is nice. I like that. Yeah, the chairs look like they'd be chintzy. Now this is handy. Oh, is that what you were looking is for? That a for you? Yeah, that's about the size of the romaine salad bowl that I ate out of. Mm, I love they've got a mung bean holder. <laughs> I was eyeing this thing. Oh, that's nice. It's handy. It's on sale. Vedbo? $300 for that chair. Is it that comfortable? I think it is. Mm -hmm. Can you hold the... I rarely sit. Yeah, you don't sit very much. Oh, I like that. Yeah. You know why I like that? Because I can have my... my uh, ring light in front of me. And yes. I filming thing right in front of me. On it would be good. Comment below. Oh, this is a nice Hey, yeah. I love the idea of this too, that you keep stuff. Yeah, it's up and it up off the counter. Because I'm gonna have an in the new kitchen a more of a continuous counter space. I think you'd really do enjoy that too. Potentially have something like that. Oh. 
it's practical. Yes, it is. Most of their doors, yeah. Watch how they do the silent close. Oh, nice. No banging doors in the morning. Look how they made this little uh, play vanity here. That's kind of cute. For kids to store crafts in. I like that. It's a little craft cabinet. <laughs> I don't like the exterior though. It's cute for, this little it's cute for children. That's really practical the way they put the uh, shelving up there too. Oh, I didn't even see that. Get things out of the way. Remember, remember Christopher Lowell? If you can't build oh, out, I build up. Him, yeah. yeah. And layering. He was all about layering. Yes, like yes. I wonder what happened to Christopher Lowell. I hope he's still with He us. had a line at Lowe's, right? And then he just kind of dissolved. The same thing there was I another, guess he retired. Uh, one call. Monette Jennings. Lynette Jennings. Yes, Monette Jennings. Hey, I was noticing, look what they did here. With these poles. Mm -hmm. That's so easy to do. It is. And Very... Pictures. Yeah. You could hang mirrors that way. You could hang anything like that. Yeah. Ikea has a 25 hour burning candle, peach. Oh wow, that's really nice. <laughs> Smell the peach. Oh, it's good, right? Yes. How much is that? Uh, I don't know, honey. It smells nice. It oh. doesn't show the high. Sneaky, sneaky. Huh? They have these pretty little votives that you can get. The votives are $2. These are nice. $3.99. I like those. Yeah, they're nice. Yeah, Moody and the Blowfish. We're gonna get copyright restricted. I like these. Oh, those are pretty. No, I would never drink out of those. <laughs> they would sit there un untouched and collect dust. My mom seeing, sees a chair she likes for her desk. It looks nice, comfortable. What is that, the bikant? 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 That's the desk. Yeah, you know that? Let's see. I love this office furniture. Swivel chair. It has a combination. Yeah. Re reach sensory overload. I thought this said Beyonce when I was walking uh, walking by. I guess it says be who you are. It's like, does Beyonce have a line at Ikea? You go. Well, I wasn't able to find the uh, to find the milk frother. I wonder if they just discontinued it. I'm not sure, honey. Um, when did you buy that? Oh gosh, maybe ago. six years ago. Yeah, they made it. Product, yeah, it's lasted a long time. Candy, <laughs> exotic fruit. Forest berries. Rombo Cola. Oh, it tells you if it has gelatin in it. That's handy. This has carmine in it, though. That's not vegan. Swedish beans. Hmm. Oh, are these like uh, Haribo gummy frogs, only without the white stuff? Are those vegan? Oh, it contains gelatin. Oh. Has anyone ever had this beverage? I've always wanted to try it whenever I come here. I've seen it. But it looks like it would be sweet. It's kind of like a Swedish Coke. <laughs> Apple, pear, and ginger flavored oat smoothie. That sounds good. The D. <laughs> My 
my mom would like all midi. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, he just plopped there in front of the yeah, Alex desk so nobody know. could look in it. And he was just playing on his phone and texting his friends. And the parents were right there and they weren't saying, you know, move. I need a little pair of scissors. I've made it through an entire um, double, Good uh, one, one string. I've made it through wow. one string. Do you want a different color? Tammy, aren't you proud of me? I made it through one string on the doggy's face. He does not look at all like a dog at this point. Do you want, um, do you Can you guys see that splotch on the wall? That is a hickey that Ty B decided to give the wall. We just caught him. We just caught him in the act of making out with the wall. And I don't know if there That's was on. some tasty morsel that was plastered to you the wall. You better be careful, there may be lead in the paint. Or, well, um, they don't use lead-based paints. And, they're not, not supposed to use I don't that think anymore. dogs are supposed to lick paint. Paint check. He's quite mouthy. He wants to, but his vision is so um, sharp. Yeah. Because on that ottoman over there, there was a thread sticking yeah. out, and he was like trying to pull it off. And he also, I think what it is is that there's a little piece of plaster, you know, plaster unevenness there that he was trying to chew off. Hi, folks. Hey. Hi. I'm having my hey. Sunday. I've got so much energy. I've been running around and I went outside and I'm going to chase my tail. I've just got so much to do. Making out with the wall, chewing my tail, playing with my lamb, and being a pest. Mm -hmm. That's the thing that I do best. Ikea had some really promising uh, furniture things. I found several pieces that I really liked and I think would work well in the new apartment, so I photographed them so that when I um, actually am moving in or whatever, I can uh, just order them online to be picked up there. I can go pick them up versus having to exhaust myself by going through there again. <laughs> You can do that, right? You can order stuff. You can call ahead and have them pull it out. Yes, I'm 100% sure that you can. Yeah. That's why they have that large pickup customer service. Yeah, thing. yeah. Um, it's rather draining in there. But I, I may need to do to go in and get it. Yeah. They don't bring it out. That's so fine. That's you. fine. Yeah. I just. I, I find it draining in there. I can only, We walked 1.6 1, 1. miles in IKEA. So if you need to get your steps in, it's a rainy day out and you're you know, looking for a walking activity to do. It's, it's entertainment, but we're gonna throw together some lunch now. You're gonna have another one of your uh, monster wraps. Yeah, My mom is putting Chipotle to embarrassing, shame. Embarrassing to eat monster wraps. <laughs> oh wow, that looks good. You've got a avocado, cucumber, romaine, and romaine wrap with is that salsa in there. It's called Natural Lavage mm -hmm. Roll-Ups. Damascus Bakery. They're delicious. I, I've gone through had this whole package. Oh, yeah? Because I like them so much. They're good, huh? Yeah, and I need a double portion. <laughs> <laughs> and then you have some potato and uh, car uh, tomatoes and snap peas with nutritional yeast. And I've got a salad, of course. Yeah, I have romaine and then some steamed carrots. Cucumber, tomato, a few of these cute potatoes my mom steamed up, some snap peas, and black, black beans. These black beans are really good. And I put some sesame crackers and some cashews on. And I will, of course, be showering it with nutritional yeast, but I didn't want to obscure the, the beauty. Obscure under the veil of nutritional yeast. And of course... I will be protecting my wardrobe with Classy here, my Classy pal. Well, hey guys, what's up? I am home and went to the gym, had a great workout. Kosari is humming back there. Um, I just cracked into these Acne Pimple Master Patches by CauseRx that I showed in my iHerb haul yesterday. 
I am a huge fan of these and have been wanting to chit chat with you guys about them for some time. These are hydrocolloid dressings. It's just a type of basically wound dressing. Um, and that's all, all they really have. There's no active ingredient. They're just kind of like a moisturizing bandage that can go over a pimple. It can also go over, you know, if you had a mosquito bite on your face or, you know, really anywhere on the body that you were tempted to pick at. Um, it can go there and just kind of cover it, help it to heal a little bit more expeditiously, and keep it protected from ultraviolet light. When ultraviolet light hits either acne or any sort of trauma to the skin, it kind of drives, it kind of fuels the fire, leads to more inflammation in the skin, and can also, you know, drive post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. So for people who get pimples that, you know, tend to heal with a, with a dark mark, which, you know, to a certain extent, all pimples heal with a dark mark. It's just a matter of how noticeable that dark mark is, and that varies with skin type to skin type. Um, I really think these are a helpful, helpful adjuvant, but they're best worn during the day to protect the spot from, from the light. Um, I think most people wear them at night, however. They can still be helpful in that manner. Um, they're soothing. They can kind of wick up some extra, excess sebum. They kind of, they kind of um, you know, just uh, help the wound, help it kind of uh, heal from, from bottom up um, and kind of pull some of the inflammatory milieu that's down there up to the surface. People are always like, oh yeah, it's sucking out all the oil. Well, it's really just kind of pulling out the, um, the inflammatory debris in there. Um, the in inflammatory cells and kind of healing healing tissue. It's just kind of helping to to wick that up almost almost like a candle, if you will. So it can be helpful in that way, but I think they're really, really helpful during the day to protect it from ultraviolet light. Also really great to protect them from loose digits. Bumps, things on the skin, very, very tempting to touch, pick at, even without even, you know, you may not even be conscientious that you're doing it. Um, and that certainly does not help the matter. It definitely makes, makes the spot persist longer, irritates it, makes it much more noticeable. So these are really, really helpful in that regard. And I'm really um, a huge fan of them. They also make these, I don't believe it's Causerex, but some other uh, brands make these with salicylic acid in them as well. Um, they can be pretty irritating. However, salicylic acid under occlusion uh, can be particularly irritating. Some people do pretty well with them, however. You know, salicylic acid con concentrates in the oil gland um, and is by itself a little bit, you know, anti is pretty anti-inflammatory. So it certainly can help, but at the same time can be irritating. These are not irritating whatsoever. They're very gentle. Um, and so I'm a huge fan of these and really, really like them a lot. They're just, they're basic, they're basic wound dressing is really all they are. Um, you know, you can get big, big strips of this uh, from medical supply stores, but these are sort of convenient in these little circles. Um, and so I'm a fan of these and I just kind of wanted to chit chat with you guys about them and share them with you all. But. Yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the vlog. I really enjoyed going into Ikea. You know, it's one of those places that I really have to be in the right mood to go in there. I find it incredibly overwhelming. I just get like sensory overload. So I think it's kind of fun to go in there with an open mind and not intending to, to buy anything when you're actually in there. So you can just kind of see things and then think about them. Otherwise, it's it's way overwhelming. So that was really fun. It's nice to have, it was nice to have my mom in there to kind of, to kind of bounce ideas back and forth on. So I hope you all enjoyed the vlog today. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.